Yeah. So what's the question? Just yell it out, man. Rice rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Is it me or that sound kind of racist? <laughs> <laughs> Rice rockets, you know what I mean? Like all you fucking Asians, you get on a spaceship and leave the planet. In fact, you know what? Let's put all the Latinos on a boat and call it Spick Sailing and get them the fuck out of here. <laughs> What's a rice rocket? I don't even know what that is, dude. What is that? It's a tricked out car. It's a what? Tricked out car. Oh, it's one of those with the. I see those all over here where it's like the neon underneath, so it's like a fucking space shuttle, like. Brrr. It's always funny to me when like those people, like those kids, like they spend like. Like fucking like forty thousand dollars on a five thousand dollar car, <laughs> and I'm like, why don't you just get a forty five thousand dollar car? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so weird because like I don't think any girls ever been like, oh, I want to fuck a guy who drives a transformer. You know? Like, He'll know how to provide when the Decepticons come. <laughs> I never got- I'm not a car guy. I didn't, I didn't buy a car until I moved to LA. Here, like, people just drive everywhere. And that, I thought that was a joke, but people literally drive everywhere to the point that I realized the first time when I happened to be walking in an area, I think it was on Sunset, but I was just walking down the block and these guys fucking drove by. They were like, FAGGOT! Because <laughs> only faggots walk, you know? <laughs> Straight people float like a motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, you want to go to the Grove? <laughs> I always thought that people were exaggerating when they're talking about the traffic in LA, but holy shit, within three months, I was like, oh fuck, it's so true. <laughs> like, I, about, about three months in, I used to like, go out to my car already with the finger up. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this, man, I'm ready. I'm, I'm giving, I'm just fucking everyone, fuck you. I'm like, pedestrians walking across, like, fuck you. It's like, I'm walking, yeah, but you did something to someone sometime, asshole. This is just karma, motherfucker. I wasn't there, but fuck you, right? People do not signal in LA, right? What the fuck is that? They don't signal. They're just like, they just like, you know, drive based on hope. It's like, ah, oh, fuck it. It's just... No one signals. Like, they don't look. They clearly don't look. I would say it happens at least once a day where you're driving and someone just starts waiting, you know, just starts going into your thing and you just do the, what the fuck? Like, like, like you yell and you do the horn and you like yell horn. You're like, what the fuck? Asshole! You are an asshole! They just do not signal and I hate that shit. And I fucking hate how, alright, in LA, I guess it's good that there's a pedestrian law that no matter what's going on, if someone fucking steps in the street, we all have to stop. But I hate the fuckers who walk. Like, I literally think, like, they start walking and they see you and it's like, time to slow down. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? I hate that shit. I'm sorry, what, did I? Oh, rice rockets. No, I don't have one. <laughs> so much for coming. This is going down exactly the way I was hoping it to. Like, I didn't want any staff. I wanted to greet people as they came in. I'm such a fucking cheap fuck. If someone invites me to anything free, I fucking go. <laughs> it could be like the I Hate Elliot fan club <laughs> conference. I'm like, I'm fucking there. Do you need me to bring anything? <laughs> like, cupcakes and shit? Like, <laughs> you know, but I think there are people who are like, well, if it's free, fuck it. If we don't, we don't go, we don't miss anything. I, I fucking, like, anytime I go to a hotel, like, I, I steal soap like crazy. And I'm the kind of person, if I hear the wheel of the cart in the hallway, I'm like, oh shit, she's here. I just wish she ducks into a different room and I fucking just howls like all the soap. Like, how dirty do I think I'm gonna get? This is half like show, half like just talking to you guys. I write better on my feed because I feel like you just let that organic talent come out instead of trying to like force it out. And I can only do this, I only can like ad lib like this, like with that question with like a really cool crowd and I'm like only a cool it's, it's only gonna be a cool crowd if they already know I'm funny so they'll give me, you, know, like, you know what I mean so like I already fucking fucked you really well on Saturdays right so if I come early tonight come on like, you know, it's like come on did you see what I did on Saturday I did it. so like, I have like way more leeway right now I way I, I feel I feel more relaxed I don't get to sell out places often but when I do it feels so fucking good when they're like, it's sold out.
That means there are people outside. I could go outside and they'd be like, no, no, I want to give you my money. I'm like, you know what? You can kiss my black ass. <laughs> you go fuck yourselves. And when they're like, black, just smoke bomb. <laughs> run away. <I'm> like, <laughs> He's a comic and a ninja. <laughs> no wonder it's sold out. This show must be amazing. <laughs> and by the way, you know, I realized something when I was, for this week, when I was worried about selling it. I'm like, any show can be sold out if you lie, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, dude, how's the bar? Dude, dude, sold out. Really, dude, sold out. How many people? Twelve. That is a seating capacity at Ambar. Twelve people. It's a very intimate crowd. Um, I drove everyone home. Uh, I, I cleaned their houses. I uh, gave everyone haircuts at the end of the night. It was very, I take care of my fans. <laughs> I really do actually want to like take everyone out for dessert afterwards. Uh, uh, yogurt land, not Pinkberry. All right, let's, let's fucking get real. Let's fucking bring it down to earth, people. Yogurt land. I can pay for everyone here without breaking a dollar. Just be like, Pinkberry. It's like Pinkberry. Do you need a fucking dollar to go in and shit? That's like a guy to join everyone on the list. Pinkberry's full of shit. They only have like three flavors and like a few toppings, and they charge way too much. And Yogurt Lane like gives you fucking everything, and it's just like so cheap. You know, it's basically like Pinkberry is like a really high priced call girl. <laughs> Yogurt Lane is the fucking slut on the corner. That's what it is. <laughs> whatever you want, I just want a dollar for it. Take your dinner. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I, I have yogurt herpes. No, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Let's do some questions. What was your first job? My first job, dude, is uh, fucking shit. And I, I opened the, I gotta, I gotta talk about it. I, I opened the door for this. <laughs> My first job, I was fucking like 15. And it's so funny because I was like, you know, I was like, I'm sick of taking money from my parents. My dad give me a lunch. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna be a fucking man. I'm gonna go out and get a job like a real man. And I got a job at a fucking cosmetic store. <laughs> I was, I was, and then the worst part, I wasn't even a salesman. I was a stock boy as a co in a cosmetic store. Which is basically, the stock boy is the bitch of the work area. So I was a bitch in a bitch's store. I was the bitch's bitch. That means in prison I'd be sucking every cock. That's what I mean basically, I'm the bitch's bitch. Like I'm the warm up cock guy before, the, you know what I mean? And what sucks is like, cause at least at some jobs you can like try to make it like you're cool. It's like I'm a bartender and like whatever. But it's like, yeah, but I, I get to know a lot about alcohol. I'm in a club or like, you know, even if you work construction, you're like, yeah, you know, it's kind of like maybe like, you know, like a grunt kind of job, but I'm out in the you know, outside and I got muscles. I can't brag about like, oh, I know what you use in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Colette's boyfriend got me the, what's your name again, dude? Yuri. Yuri, I fucking again. I love the, what's going on? These names. Are you guys just making up names like everyone get a clue name? Everyone get a clue name. You're Sapphire, you're Skywind, you know, right? everyone. I like this because now I feel like like a man because it's water, but I don't feel like a bitch. I'm like, yeah, that's right, let's get fucked up tonight. <laughs> We're all gonna get rehydrated like a motherfucker. <laughs> it's like, you want a joint? No, but give me some carrots, motherfucker. <laughs> We're gonna get healthy. All right. Um, questions? Did you ever find out who took the gas in your car? Dude, you know what I found out? No one took the gas out of my car. My car has just got a fucked up gas light. <laughs> <laughs> this, if anyone was on my fan page, uh, I went to my friend's house the other night. Um, he called me, um, this is a funny story. He texted me in the morning. Like, hey, and it, it read like it was a mass text. Like, hey, who wants to come over and watch the new Dane Cook special with me tonight at 10.15, my place. And I'm like, I was free then. I'm like, oh, fuck it. And I text him, like, yeah, I'll be there. He's like, all right, cool. And I'm like, oh, shit. I got dressed up and I brought some food. I'm like, oh, it's me. Fucking party, yeah. And I open up and it's just me and him. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And, and he, he's straight, so I'm like, what? Are you? All right, so it's just me and him. And on the couch, this close to each other, watching another dude. All right, so it's like, great, you know. But we actually had a good time. And, um, and the thing is, I filled up my car before I went over there. And then when I turned on my car, and I, I you know, I, I drove home, and then the the e light was on. I'm like, oh shit! And I'm like, I just filled. I'm like, someone just fucking stole gas out of my car. The recession is that bad. Man. <laughs> What's the fuck? Next, I'm gonna steal air out of my tires. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stockpile this shit. I, I never know when I'm gonna get a flat. So I'm, close the ziplock. Close the ziplock. 
And then so I thought, so the next morning, I was like, oh shit, someone stole gas in my car. So like two days later, I'm like, I was like, can't believe someone stole my you know, gas. And then the, like the third day, I turned on my car and it was like, full. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, no one stole gas out of my car. I'm just impatient. <laughs> I'm gonna save this, dude. I'll put a flower in it. Oh, it's fucking gay. I should <laughs> I just say that? Yes, you did. Eric, I think we're gonna have to make out after the show because I don't know. Right. What do I do? Do I have to go so gay, come back full circle, like I go over the edge and now I'm straight again? No. Um, dude, literally, I'm just curious. If I literally showed you a picture of a pussy, would you be like, ew? Like right away, is that your first reaction? Like, ew. Uh, honestly, yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. I like women, I just don't like their bits. <laughs> That's all I want is their bits. If I could just get the bits, and you, you can go home and come back in an hour when I'm done with this. <laughs> Rinse that out when you get home. <laughs> Women, just not their bits. <laughs> you know it's funny because like okay, I'm I'm not gay, but when I look at another guy's dick, I'm, wait, hold on, let me say that again. <laughs> let me restate that. Hold on. When you watch porn, it's beyond my control. I will happen to see a dick. You know, I'm not looking for the dick. I'm looking at the pussy. But if a dick comes in, I can't put like a piece of paper over that till it goes in. <laughs> But when I see another guy's dick on like on a porno, I'm not like ew. I'm just like I'm either like, oh, it's bigger than mine, <laughs> or I'm like, yeah, small dick, motherfucker. They should have called me in for this shit. I could have done this right. right? <laughs> <laughs> just calm down, calm down. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Like, this guy is the man. This guy has been blowing me up on Twitter, and he's been like so supportive, and you know just. I, I, I can't say enough, he should be my PR guy. And <laughs> check this out, we all know this person, Sabina, all the way here from Dublin, Ireland. Say hi. Hi. How was the show? It was amazing. I didn't tell her to say that. It was amazing. I rushed home from work just to come here on time. Oh, you did? She yes. rushed home from work? That's a really cool person. And was it everything that you wanted it to be? I hope I delivered or? Dude, it was great. It was my first show, by the way, so it was. Oh! There you go. Wait, that's kind of weird. I took his comedy virginity, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's kinda, uh, how did you first even find out about me? Comedy Central. I actually was sitting at home, and I never laughed so hard with the comedy before, and I was like, I have to follow this dude. And I was just... I found you on Facebook, I was, like, reading... Internet! <laughs> what did you think about the show? Um, <laughs> it's so messed up. I kind of really, like, had a hard time sleeping afterwards. Yeah, it was really tough. It was disturbing. What? What we've heard. All I, I had anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was amazing. It was amazing. It's so great. You know, she said amazing, and she just said amazing because she she couldn't think of another <laughs> word. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much.